Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to discuss about one month roadmap to become a data analyst. This is our analytics mentor, Aditi Gupta. I'm a working professional and a corporate trainer. Today I want to give you a clear roadmap to become a data analyst in just one month. So if you want to talk about data analysts, we need to learn a major tools and technologies in here. First of all, Many of the people have the myth in their mind, I'm from non-tech background, I'm from non-programming, non-technical background, and I want to become a data analyst. Is there any coding or programming required? But the answer is no. If you want to become a data analyst, then you need to start with the right tools and technologies where you don't need to require a coding or any programming language. So for that, we will only really start with a data visualization tool business intelligence tool and data analytics tool. So if we talk about a full one month roadmap in here, I have displayed every, you know, the technologies in here, the days and the hours you want to give. So if I talk about the technologies and tools you need to go through in one month is Power BI, SQL, Python, and then projects, and then you need to work on portfolio. Many of the students did this one mistake, which is they start, you know, learning data analytics using Python. First of all, they start with Python. Even they don't have any coding or programming knowledge, but still they start with Python. It's a wrong, uh, you know, roadmap to start with, wrong language or wrong tool to start with. If you want to become a data analyst, then you should start with Power BI. Power BI is a tool by Microsoft. It is a complete data analytics and visualization tool. And it is nothing but an enhanced format of Excel. So if you're a heavy user of Excel, or if you want to, you know, have a career transition from non-IT or to IT background, or if you want to get a job in our MNCs like Capgemini, Cognizant, EY, TCS, then it's very important to have a knowledge of end-to-end -end one data analytics or business intelligence tool, which is Power BI. So here you can see, you need to start with Power BI, then you need to have some hands on an SQL, which is Structured Query Language, which is also commonly called as SQL. So you need to learn a bit about SQL as well, because here you will go to learn about databases, how tables store, how servers work. And then you need to have a basic knowledge about Python and R, and not a complete end-to-end -end Python required, no. You just need to learn only the data visualization libraries like NumPy, Pandas, ggplot2, Metplotlib, Plotly. These are only the data visualization libraries you need to learn when it comes to learning Python if you want to become a data analyst. And then you need to work on project and then portfolios as well. So I have like told you, you need to become a data analyst in a one month. So these are the tools you need to cover. But now the question is how many days, how many hours you need to give to the respective tools, right? So in that case, what you need to do is, as you can see, if you want to learn Power BI, then here is a number of days, 14, size, 3, 3, size, are the number of days. And 3, 3, 3, 3, 3 are the number of hours you need to give. What does it mean? Like if you want to become a data analyst in a one month, then you need to give at least 3 hours a day. Okay, as per your flexibility, you can give like in morning, evening, night, but yes, you need to be consistent for a month and give three hours a day. So as you can see there, guys, you need to learn Power BI and you need to give a 40 days, like 14 days to learn Power BI and you need to give three, three hours a day. What, a, what does it mean? Like 42 hours in total. So start with learning Power BI. 14 days into 3 hours a day, that means 42 hours you need to give constantly to learn Power BI. In Power BI, you need to learn about data visualization, data modeling, data transformation, data manipulation, creating reports, creating dashboards, then you have scheduling and automations, Power BI service and a lot more. It's not an easy task. That's why I have told you, you need to be consistent throughout these 14 days and give three hours a day. Okay. So that's the roadmap for learning Power BI. And then we have SQL. For learning SQL, you need to give at least five days and three hours in total. So five into three, that means 15 hours. 
15 hours you need to give for learning SQL in which you will gonna learn about how SQL works, how data is stored or database stored in SQL, what is a, you know, update query, insert query, or uh, the lot of queries which is available in SQL and of course the functions as well, the filtration functions and also you need to learn how to connect SQL with Power BI. Because as of now as well, most of the organizations are working with SQL. Okay, not only this, you also, this is an added point for all of you. You also need to learn how to connect Excel with Power BI as well. Okay, because nowadays as well, most of the companies store their data in Excel. But if you want to create reports and dashboards in Power BI, then you need to learn how to connect Excel with Power BI. Once you learn Power BI and SQL, then you need to learn Python and R. Python and R, you need to give like three days and three hours a day. That means nine hours in total. That's more than enough because here you need to learn a data visualization libraries. For an example, as I have already told you, Metplotlib, Plotly, NumPy, and Pandas. You don't need to learn a core Python. You don't need to become a programmer or a mobile developer or an app developer. No. If you want to become a data analyst, then a data visualization library's knowledge is something which is more than enough, okay? So for Python, give three days and then nine hours in total. Okay, once you have a good expertise and knowledge on Power BI, SQL, Python, and R, so these are the major tools and technologies you need to cover. As a fresher, if you are just stepping into a data analyst domain, then you need to work on projects. A major thing where you need to give your maximum time. When it comes to project guys, you need to do multiple projects. It's not like only one or two projects will work if you want to land your first job as a data analyst. It's like completely no. If when we talk about projects, you need to complete end-to-end -end projects in Power BI, in SQL, and of course, in Python as well. So let me give you a clear picture in here. When it comes to a project, you need to give a core three days to it. That means nine hours in total. In nine hours, create at least four projects of Power BI, two projects of SQL, and two projects of data visualization libraries of Python, and just two projects will be more than enough. That means four plus two plus two. That means eight projects in total you need to create if you want to step your career towards data analytics. I want to give you a clear picture again in here, guys. As a fresher, it's not easy to just, you know, with the help of knowledge or just working with Power BI, you can start applying for a job. So, no, everyone in the industry, recruiters are looking for seeing your, like, projects, okay? How much expertise you have on the tools of technologies. So, in that case, you need to work core on projects rather than having a fancy certifications. Don't spend, you know, lakhs of rupees in just getting a degrees or uh, getting a fancy certifications. When it comes to data analytics, it is a complete practical and uh, we can say a uh, core domain where you need to deal with end-to-end -end projects, end-to-end -end companies and clients requirements. It's like literally very important. So always, when it comes to a data analytics domain, always focus on what the projects in here, okay? So if we talk about the projects, complete eight projects, and then you need to work on your portfolio. Portfolio is something where you will gonna land your job, your first job in the data analytics. Let's say I hire a lot of Power BI developers. The first thing I see is their portfolio. What is portfolio? Like within a single link, you can use link tree links. You can, uh, for an example, you can upload all your projects in uh, one drive and that one drive link will be your portfolio link. You can upload all your, all your projects on GitHub. So that GitHub link will be your portfolio link. So that's a portfolio where on a single place, I can see all your eight to 10 projects which you have created. So for portfolio, you need to give five days, three hours per day. That means 15 hours equal to the SQL you need to give, you know, for making your portfolio. When it comes to portfolio, focus core on projects, focus core on, you know, building end-to-end -end practical with a lot of expertise projects. 
when it comes to power bi power bi is not all about data visualization power bi is about data monitoring scheduling automation working on dax functions in here here is a new term for you all which is dax data analysis expressions in excel we have a lot of formulas right we look up h look up aggregation functions iteration functions in the same way in power bi we have formulas called as dax so in the project you need to work core on dax because 80% of the we can say interview questions as well will be come from dax itself okay so in portfolio work core on again on end to end projects work core on you know uploading all your projects in a one we can say platform it can be drive excel or linkedin links or your linkedin profile and once you upload all your projects at one place and then you need to focus core on your resume building as well so in portfolio resume building also comes into picture where if you are applying as a fresher then you need to put all the projects all the learnings and if you can do some you know challenges like we have maven analytics they offer a lot of you know challenges when it comes to power bi so work core on challenges as well and upload everything all the learnings in your resume with your portfolio link and with your linkedin profile link as well okay once as a recruiter as well if i check your resume I'll first of all click on your portfolio check out all your projects and if i like your projects i will give you a call like on uh, within you know 5 to 10 minutes as well it's totally depend on the practical expertise you have i hope it's clear for you all so it's a quite summary in here at the end i will you know put the picture of this particular roadmap as well and in short you need to learn the tools which is power bi sql tableau you need to give 14 days to power bi 5 days to sql and then 3 days to python that means 42 hours in total for power bi 15 hours total for sql and 9 hours total for we can say python and um, our projects or we get to the data visualization libraries hands on so if you add on all these particular total hours which is 42 15 9 9 and 60 and that means 90 hours in total so you need to give 90 hours in total in 30 days and when it comes to 30 days it is equals to the one month so as you can see here is a complete one month roadmap to become a data analyst as a fresher apply steps like whatever the steps i have told you apply each and every step be consistent for your learning and definitely you will get a lot of advantages and uh, you will gonna get a lot of we get expertise in all the tools as well okay now the question is from where to learn from where to start is there any workshops from where you can learn practically and with power bi So guys I want to tell you one thing that I also you know conduct a lot of power bi workshops data analysis workshops so you can find the live workshop link which I do check out the description to get a knowledge about a uh, lot of power bi workshops that I do do follow me on my instagram channel it's by the name techtube24 you will find the link on the description I upload a lot of videos regarding the interview questions and how you can get your first job as a data analyst. Do subscribe my YouTube channel, hit on the bell icon so that you will get all the videos updates as soon as I upload on my channel. Not only this, guys, I will looking forward to see you in my upcoming videos as well. Do comment if you want me to create a video on a specific topic related to a data analyst, business analyst. power bi intelligence on a data visualization topics do check out description for all the links of my workshops my social media channels and i'll see you in the next uh, video of the series of data analytics and uh, please take care of your family friends bye bye have fun and see you again in the next session